welcome to my youtube channel once again this is tech pba thanks for joining me so in this video tutorial we're going to look at some basic computer literacy questions and answers and this is actually the part one of this i'm planning on bringing a part two at a later time so let's get straight into it but guys before we we get into it or before we start with it um, kindly support us by clicking on the subscribe button down this video turn on notifications so that when we upload new videos you'll be the first to see them also click on the like button share this video to support our work thank you so let's get straight into it so the first question we are looking at is um, it says what are these images called and these images if um, can normally be seen on our desktops and they are called icons they are called icons so the correct answer is the C which is icons let's move on to question number two and in question number two, it's, it's asking us, how do you get this kind of window to appear? <clears throat> this window that we are looking at over here, how do we, this very one, how do we get it? What do we do to get this particular window? Correct answer is, to, is B, to click the right mouse button, which we usually call the right clicking so when you right click you are actually clicking the right mouse button so when you click on the right mouse button on anything you want to uh, you want to see additional options for you just click on the you place the cursor on the on that particular thing be it a folder a file um, place the cursor on it and then you click the right mouse button and then you will actually see this type of um, window appear on your screen. So the correct answer is B, click the right mouse button. Let's move on to question number three. So question number three is asking us, what is the name of this Windows element? So in Microsoft Windows, um, we usually it usually has this particular element on the screen usually found on the desktop it's actually the answer is the task bar this particular um, element on the desktop of a windows operating system is called the task bar and guys i need to mention that um, the task bar is usually found at the bottom of the desktop in, in previous um, windows operating systems you could move it to the right you could move it to the left and then you could also move it to the top of your screen but in windows 10 it's only um, positioned at the bottom of the of the desktop so yes let's move on to Question number four. So question number four is asking, what is Windows 10? And the answer in the options available there is, it is a computer's or the computer's operating system. So the answer is option A, the computer's operating system. Windows 10 is actually a pro, it's an operating system by Microsoft. So it's option A. Let's move on to question number five. Question number five is asking, what is the name of this screen? If we have all used Microsoft Windows operating systems before, we definitely would know that this screen is called the desktop the desktop so the option desktop is option number no option d 
is the correct answer. And it's actually the working area of a, of a user, of the user of the computer. Okay, so in question number six, we are being asked, what is the name of this row of buttons slash commands in Microsoft Word 365? Um, you can also find these um, buttons and commands in Microsoft Word 2021, 2019, 2016, 2013, 2010. 2007 and 2003. So the correct answer to this question is option option B, which is ribbon. So the the buttons and commands that show on top of a Microsoft Word, be it um, 2010, 2013, 2016, 2019, or Word. 365, which is part of the Microsoft um, 365 applications, those buttons and commands are referred to as the ribbon. Let's move on to question number seven. Okay, question number seven. What type of ports are these? So these, these ports are called the USB ports, and these are actually USB 2.0 ports. We have USB 3.0 ports as well. So the answer to this question is the C option, which is USB ports. Question number eight. A Word document file can be attached to an email message. The correct answer is yes. It can be attached to an email message. Question number nine. What application allows you to gain access to the internet? The correct answer is all of the above because all these applications are known as web browsers, which and all, the, all of them can actually allow you to gain access to the internet. So the correct answer is D, all of the above. Question number 10. Which keys or keys are used to capitalize letters? The correct answers are A, caps lock, the caps lock key, and then D, the shift key. So the caps lock key is a key on the keyboard when you press it you can type or you can capitalize your letters into block letters or to into capital letters and then when you press on it again you get back your small letters and then also you can hold down the shift key to get um, capital letters or your block letters and then when you re remove your hand from your shift key you get your your small letters back question number 11 to create a new email you would press the new meeting button true or false so in the image we are presented in this um, slide is um, the ribbon of Microsoft Outlook. So to, the question says, to create a new email, you would press the new meeting button, true or false? The answer is actually false. Because when you want to create a new email, the command you would press on the, on the ribbon is the new email command. So the answer is false, option B, false. Question number 12. When you, do, when you see no icons on the desktop, how can you open programs such as Microsoft Word? Correct answer is option D. To click the start button and select program. Select program from the menu. 
you have to click the start button and select the program from the start menu or the programs the list of programs in the start menu question number 13 what are documents drawings and programs stored on the hard drive called the correct answer here over here is option b which is files question number 14 what are these kinds of computers called these um, kinds of computers that are being shown in the image above the question what are these kinds of computers called the correct answer is option d which is laptops laptops question number 15 what does www mean so the www means or the correct answer here is the option a World Wide web option a World Wide web question number 16 if you are connected to the internet you are the correct answer here is option D online so if you are connected to the internet you are actually online so the correct answer is option d question number 17 what is this this kind of computer called so the correct answer is option c desktop computer desktop computer so these kinds of computers actually come with a system unit which we also call the CPU, or the central processing unit. It also, also comes with um, a monitor, a keyboard, and then a mouse. So, in all of them together, we call them a desktop computer. So, the correct answer is option C desktop computer. Question number 18. The first time you save a document in Word, you must name the file true or false. The correct answer here is option A, which is true. And it's very true because the first time you save a document in Word, either Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you will always be prompted to put a name on the file before it can be saved. So the correct answer here or the correct, the correct option here is option A, which is true. Question number 19. Computer's power button is used to the correct answer is actually option D, which is all of the above. Because the computer's power button can be used to power on and off the computer. It can also be used to restart the computer. It can as well be used to put the computer to sleep. So all the options there are correct. So the correct answer is option D, which is all of the above. Question number 20. Keyboard and mouse are examples of software, whereas Word and Excel are examples of hardware. True or false? The correct answer here, or the correct option here is B, which is false keyboard and mouse are hardware whereas excel and word are softwares so please take notes correct option here is b which is false question number 21 any part of your computer that has a physical structure that can be felt and touched such as the keyboard or mouse and also includes all of the computer's internal parts is called 
correct answer here, just as we talked about in question number 20, is option B, which is hard word. Hard word. So correct answer, hard word. Question number 22. A set of electronic instructions that tell a computer what to do is called the correct answer is software option a software question number 23 the speed of a processor is measured in the correct answer here again is option a which is heads 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 either in megahertz or gigahertz so the correct answer the speed of a processor is measured in op in heads option a correct answer question number 24 processing involves processing processing involves the correct answer here is Option D, transforming inputs into outputs. Transforming inputs into outputs. So when we talk of processing, which is the, the work of the, the CPU or the processor, it involves transforming inputs into outputs. Question number 25. A keyboard, mouse, joystick, trackball, scanner, digitizer, microphone, barcode reader, etc. are all examples of the correct answer here is option D, which is input devices. This question number 26. Monitors, printers, speakers, projectors, plotters. TVs, video cards, headphones, etc. are all examples of the correct answer here is option B, which is output devices. Output devices. These, these um, devices are all examples of output devices. Option B, correct answer. Question number 27. What is the role of an operating system? The correct answer here is option A, to manage a computer's hardware and software. The operating system, like the Windows operating system, for example, Windows 10 has so many roles or functions, but one of the major ones is the, in this case, option A, which is to manage a computer's hardware and software. Question number 28. What is a folder on a computer? What is a folder on a computer? The correct answer here is option B, which is a container for files and other folders container for files and other folders. So correct answer, option B. Question number 29. What type of information can you find in the help system? What type of information can you find in the help system? The correct answer here is option D information about how to use programs and features information about how to use programs and features correct answer option d question number 30 what's the easiest way to get additional help if you can't find what you need if you can't find what you need the correct answer here is option C, to search online for answers to your question. To search online for answers to your question. So the correct answer is option C.
Question number 31. If you are working in a document and use undo, but then realize you didn't want to undo your most recent change, redo will restore it. True or false? The correct answer here is option A, which is true. And it's very true. When you are working in Word and you make any changes and you realize that um, you made a mistake, you click the undo to undo the changes that you made. And then you later realize that, oh, you didn't make a mistake. So you click the redo. Redo will actually restore everything that the undo cleared from your documents. So the correct answer here is option A, true. Question number 32, what is a file extension? Question number 32, what is a file extension? The correct answer is option C. The last part of a file name which indicates the type of file. So correct answer, option C. So just like a PDF file, when you see any file name and you see .pdf, it means that particular file is a PDF file. If you see a .exe, it means that particular file is an executable, is an executable file. So a file name or file extension indicates or is the last part of a file name which indicates the type of file. So correct answer option C. Question number 33. What is a common file extension for a digital image? The correct answer in this for this question is option C. The dot JPG, which is also called dot um, jpeg dot jpeg that is a common file extension for a digital image or a picture file question number 34 what is a common file extension for a video for a video so the correct answer here is option d the dot mp4 dot mp4 Correct answer, dot mp4. Question number 35. What is the meaning of downloading? So, the correct answer over here is option B. The process of copying a file from a remote server to your PC. So, when you, are, when you download something on the internet, you are actually copying that particular file or that particular something from a remote um, computer or a remote server on the internet onto your computer. So the process of copying a file from a remote server to your PC is what is called downloading. So the, the correct answer here is option B. Then again, question number 36. What is the meaning of uploading? So the opposite of the downloading, um, this process involves um, copying a file from your PC onto a remote computer or onto a remote server. So it's option D, the process of copying a file from your PC to a remote server. Correct answer, option D. Question number 37. What is an open source software? The correct answer here is option B. Software with source code that is publicly available. So when we talk of a source code that is publicly available, it means anybody at all can take that source code and edit it and use it to do whatever they want to do with it, make their own programs and applications out of that um, source code. A typical example is the um, 
Google Android OS. It's a publicly available um, source code. So correct answer, option B. Question number 38, what does PDF stand for? The correct answer is option B, portable document format. Portable document format. Question number 39, what is the purpose of a Wi-Fi password? The, the correct answer over here is option C, to prevent unauthorized access to your network yes so that is very true because we usually put a password on our Wi-Fi networks or Wi-Fi networks to protect our networks to prevent people strangers from connecting onto our network people who are not authorized from connecting to our network so correct answer option C Question number 40. How can you check for updates on a Mac computer? The correct answer over here is option D. Through the App Store or System Preferences. And this is also very correct because when you want to check for updates for your Mac computer, um, you either go to the App Store and check for updates for your apps and then also when you want to update your system the iOS or the Mac OS you will have to go to system preferences to update your Mac OS so the correct answer over here is option D question number 41 what is malware the correct answer over here is option A a general term for any software that is designed to harm your computer. So yes, answer. Question number 42. What should you do if you suspect that your computer has a virus? Correct answer here is to install a free antivirus program and run a scan on your computer so the correct answer option d question number 43 what is power cycling the correct answer is option c it's a process to shut down and restart a device any device at all it can be a mobile phone a, a computer anything so the process to shut down and restart a device is what we refer to as power cycling Question number 44. What happens during defragmentation? Correct answer over here as well is option C. During defragmentation, files and folders are rearranged to optimize performance of your PC. Question number 45. In safe mode, which type of drivers are loaded? Correct answer over here is option B. Only essential drivers are loaded. Yes, that is true because in Windows um, Safe Mode, it's a very it's a it's a, a light version and a troubleshooting version of the operating system. So only essential drivers are loaded to make it light for you to troubleshoot your your system. So correct answer, option B. Question number 46. The computer's main circuit board is called A. The correct answer here is option D. The motherboard. The motherboard. The motherboard. Question number 47. In this, in the image shown above, which feature is being used in this image or in the image? So the correct answer is option B, the touchpad. The touchpad, usually found on laptops. Question number 48. The RAM 
is like a computer's dash, while a hard drive is like a computer's. So the correct answer or answers here is option C. The RAM is like a computer's short-term memory, whereas a while a hard drive is like a computer's long-term memory. Yes, that is because um, with the RAM, which is the random access memory, the moment you you shut down or you restart your computer, it, it loses everything in its memory. But with the hard drive, um, what, even if you shut down your computer for ages, the moment you power it up again, everything that you, you ever stored on there would still be there. So the RAM is like the computer's short-term memory, and then the hard drive is the computer's long-term memory. So option C, correct answer. Question number 49. What is an Ethernet port used for? So the correct answer to this question is option D, connecting to the Internet. So an Ethernet port is a port on a desktop computer or a laptop computer where we, you plot an Ethernet cable into and then plot the other side of the same Ethernet cable into a wall jack, a network switch or a router to gain access to the Internet. So an Ethernet port can also be referred to as a network port and then also it can be referred to as a LAN port, L-A-N, local area network ports. So correct answer is D, connecting to the internet. Not just internet, it can also connect you to a network. Question number 50, what is Wi-Fi? Correct answer is option B, a type of wireless network type of wireless network. Wi-Fi actually stands for wireless fidelity. So it's a type of wireless network. Wi-Fi. Correct answer, option B. Question number 51. Windows, Mac OS, and Linux are examples of the correct answer is operating systems correct answer operating systems so correct answer option B operating systems question number 52 what does GUI GUI stand for it stands for graphical user interface option number C or option C graphical user interface it acts actually the text and the images on our computer that is referred to as the GUI, pronounced GUI. So option C, correct answer. Question number 53. You cannot get a computer virus if you install antivirus. The correct answer is false. Even after you install an antivirus software, you can still get a virus on your computer because most antivirus softwares are not powerful enough to deal with every threat out there so yes you can get a virus even if you have an antivirus software on your PC so the correct answer is false which is option B question number 54 fitness trackers and smart watches are examples of correct answer option B these devices are what we refer to as wearables. Wearables. So option B, correct answer. Question number 55. Which operating system is most typically found on PC computers, personal computers? So the typical operating system that is mostly found on personal computers is option D, which is Windows, Microsoft Windows, Microsoft Windows OS, or Microsoft Windows operating systems. These are most commonly found on PCs. 
Question number 56. Newer monitors usually have LCD or LED displays, also known as correct answer option C, also known as flat panel. Flat panel. LCD, LED displays or monitors are also referred to as flat panels. So correct answer option C. Question number 57. Each computer is different. So the buttons, ports, and sockets will vary from computer to computer. The correct answer over here is option A, which is true. Um, different computer makers um, have different designs. So ports, the buttons, the sockets are in different areas altogether. So the correct answer is option A, which is true. Question number 58. What is the purpose of a scanner? The correct answer over here is to copy physical images slash documents and save them as digital images. So what a scanner does is you actually put a physical document or picture in, in the scanner and then it copies that document or image and saves it digitally onto your computer. So it saves it as a digital image onto your computer. It can actually save it as an image file or a document file, usually a PDF or a JPEG file. So correct answer, option C. Question number 59. What is the function of a CPU? The correct answer over here is option A. To carry out commands. To carry out commands. So what the processor does, the main function of the processor is to respond, is to take commands and then carry them out, execute them for you. So the main function, the, the function of the CPU is to carry out commands. Option A, correct answer. Question number 60. If your computer is sluggish when you have several programs open, this could be a sign that the correct answer over here is option B, it doesn't have enough RAM or it doesn't have enough memory. So when your computer doesn't have enough memory, it will perform sluggishly. So the correct answer over here is option B, it doesn't have enough RAM. Question number 61, what is another name for a USB adapter? USB adapter, the correct answer over here is option A, a dongle, a dongle dongle. Question number 62. AC adapters are interchangeable. In other words, they can be paired with different laptop brands. True or false? This, the correct answer over here is B, option B, which is false. Um, different laptops come with different adapters, with different power ratings. So they are not in any way interchangeable, even though some work interchangeably. But in most cases, they are all different from each other. So they are not interchangeable. So the correct answer is option B, which is false. Question number 63. What is the function of a surge protector? So the correct answer over here is option B, which is it protects your computer from electrical surges. So a surge protector's main function is to protect your computer from electrical surges so as not to destroy your PC when the surges are frequent. So the surge protector will protect you when 
there are frequent electrical surges. So option B, correct answer. Question number 64. When sometime, when something is in the cloud, this means it is stored. The correct answer over here is, or to this question is, it is stored or it's stored remotely on internet servers. So when we talk about something being on the cloud or in the cloud, it means that particular thing is being stored on a remote server or a remote computer on the internet. So correct answer, option C. Question number 65. If you spill liquid on your keyboard, shut down your computer, disconnect the keyboard, and the correct answer over here is option A, to turn the keyboard upside down so that the liquid can drain out of the keyboard. So you can, you have to, the first thing you have to do is to turn it upside down when you, you are sure that the liquid has drained out of it, then you can use a paper towel to clean in between the keys. So the correct answer over here is option A, turn the keyboard upside down. Now last but not the least, question number 66. Ergonomic keyboards and chairs are designed to the correct answer to this question is option D to be more comfortable in order to avoid injuries that is ergonomics keyboards and chairs that is how they are designed they are designed so that they will be more comfortable in order to avoid injuries to the user so yes, guys, these are 66 basic computer literacy questions and answers. I hope you have learned a lot from these questions and answers. And I also hope that you subscribe to my channel, um, share this video so that I can bring you part two of the basic computer literacy questions and answers. Please. Kindly subscribe to my channel, Tech PBA. Like, click on the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Share this video to support the work. Thank you, and I will see you in another video. Take care. Bye.